Hi guys, it's Moz here from Moz 651 and Models. And on the workbench today, I have this Aichi D3A1 Val from Airfix. Now, this is a re-release, but they've released it into their vintage classic range, which is basically kits of old, rebox, fresh decals, um, probably some fresh looking instructions, and then boxed and sold as a vintage classic. And I like the idea of it, I really do. Because there are some kits in the past that, uh, you know, we've built and uh, there's not been that many copies of them or uh, kits available because they've not been manufactured for a while. But this one isn't like any other vintage classic, really, like I did with the Jaguar and the Beach Buggy. This one has been released quite a few times and by manufacturers linked to Airfix. Um, just to prove a point, um, I do actually, I've actually looked up how to say this. Um, I thought it was Aki, but according to uh, Google, when I put it in, how do you say it? I press the button. Aichi. Aichi. Okay, just again for good measure. Aichi. Aichi. So that's how Google are telling me to say it. And I've heard it said as Aichi. I have, I have. I think even on the Airfix, when they announced it on their, on their YouTube, they said it that way as well. But anyway, so yeah, this one here is a classic, now a vintage classic. I bought it uh, about two weeks ago. So I, yeah, the third, I think I paid for it. What's the date now? It's now the 15th. So it came two days ago. So yeah, took just over a week to get to me. £9.99 with three ninety five shipping. I say shipping because it's not postage, it is actually shipping, because they also have to charge you for the uh, packaging that they send it in. And I know they, they do it through Hermes. I know that Hermes do a really cheap rate for bulk for about two pound an item. So they, you know, they're making a, their, their one pound 95 just to box it for you. So yeah, that's basically it. Going through scale mates, it has been released about six times. It was first released back in 1965. And then again, after being released by certain companies like Airfix, Plasti, MPC, it was then released in 1973 with a new box art, um, you know, with the Airfix logo down here, uh, you know, that sort of design. They moved on to a new box in 1980, which had the Eclipse logo, if you know what I mean. And then it was then, you know, they released it again with Airfix Lodila. Um, but they wasn't there and seen again till 1997. So there's a 17-year break between 1980 and 1997 when they reboxed it. They then reboxed it again 14 years later in 2011 with the design that you would normally associate with Air Fiction with the red stripe down the side. And then they've gone back to this. They've gone back to almost having the original sort of shape with the uh, sort of design, if you know what I mean, with the with the full uh, blown um, picture, Roy Cross picture. And uh, in 10 years after the 2011, so 2021, they've re-released it as the Vintage Classic. Okay, so that gets that bit over. It is a 1 to 72 scale. The code for this is A02014V. That's A02014V. All right. So there you go. So look at the box. You've got a nice box out there, Roy Cross. Side of the box, it's got his warning in all the different lingos and languages around the world. Um, barcode they're saying exactly uh, you know the um, Aichi D3A1 Val and here is a cartograph decals which is brilliant that's why I think that's why I released it because the decals are pretty good side of the box top end you've got the um, picture again of the plane other side of that one exactly the same which is good because normally when you go into a, a shop they're either like this aren't they on the edge um on this side basically it's telling you all about it it's saying that the mold tools made in 1965 pack illustration by roy cross also 1965 all right enjoy the nostalgia with airfix vintage classics 34 pieces in this one so it's going to be a quite a simple build Length of it, 138 millimetres by width, 188. So it's wider than it is long, going by this. And the colours you will need, quite a few on this one, which I'm quite surprised, actually, because it looks quite clear, doesn't it? it? Looks like you've only got one, two, three on the top there. But anyway, you need 11, 33, 53, 56, 85, 89, or 168. And the Pilots is 24, 61, and 98 one flying hour for this one and it is a skill level one i don't know why they don't put these with some paints 
and then sell them for five ninety nine like you do in Lidl or Audi at Christmas. Make a really good plane. Instead of getting the bog standard five that you've been getting for the past five years, unless you go to Lidl and you get the Mustang, you know, just putting it out there, FX, just putting it out there. Right, so obviously it's a top opening box, so we'll slide it open, which is a kick. And there. Open it up and let's have a look what we get inside the box. As I said, top opening box. Put that there. You get one bag of sprues. You get instructions, and also here somewhere are the decals. Again, these decals are cartograph decals, and you have a few options there, as you can see. They give you two options on this one, I believe, if I remember rightly. You've got A and B. Oh, it just says A, actually. I don't know why I've got A and B there when it's actually only A. It's, it's an A. That's it. So I don't know what we've got A and B for. I don't know. There must be a reason for it, but we'll find out when we go through the instructions. Again, quickly look at the decals. Very nice, very crisp, very cartograph, as they are made by cartograph. Like them. I do like them. They go down well. Nice bit of sheen. Not too much um, over on, you know, over... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know what I mean? There's there's um, there's no overfilming on these. You know, they're pretty, pretty tight. And uh, at the bottom there, you've got the... Uh, Aichi D3A1 valve and the number. So if you want to put them on the plane somewhere hidden away, so you know what the plane is after you built them 20 years later. So there you go. There's the uh, the decals or the decals, depending on how you want to say it. Right, instructions time. Just have a quick look. It's only 34 pieces, so I'm not expecting too many um, steps on this one. It's not a submarine when it's just like two hours screwed together. Oh, so it's... Uh, three page opener this one so it's not a booklet it's a three page opener start on the left hand side with some bump back assembly icon instructions obviously um very little in the cockpit it seems so you're going to get a pilot we're telling you there how to build the pilot um, how to build a pilot how to paint the pilot and then looks like you've got two shades there 89 and 33 on the inside the fuselage both sides and uh, pilots go into the chairs push them together bump and basically that's the fuselage done uh wings are in two hours again so you've got two sets of wings to put together then you put in the um gear in together which is the wheel and then you've got the wheel covers moving through you're starting to do more of the cockpit looks like um is there two just looking at the cockpit there right yeah not looking too bad there it's like a three three piece cockpit which is nice Putting on the rudders and the fins at the back. Putting on the engine at the front. Doesn't look too difficult, does it? It looks like a one-piece engine, that does. We'll have a look at the in inside in a minute, how it all goes together. Um, underneath, putting it all together, some of the um, flaps there. And you're pretty much done. Air intake goes in underneath as well. And, and then you have one call-out. Which is basically it. It's not A and B, so it's a bit of a misprint on the actual box. There's your call out there. Um, I'm just just saying that really, is the B then the pilot? Let's just have a look then. No, the pilot, I don't know what the B is. No idea what the B is. Quick check again. No idea what the B is. So it must be another scheme you can you probably get on a, on a different day. Um, so you're going to need satin hemp, satin coal black and 11 silver. That's it. So there's the three colours, and I'm just assuming that the pilot is taking up a lot of these colours. Your 98, your 61, your 24, there's your 85. That's it, really. So I don't know where else these other colours are coming from. 53? Where's 53 to? 53? Mm. Oh, well, we'll have a little nosy at that later on anyway. So there you go. That's basically it. Number nine on the little yellow strips there but yeah looking pretty sus i quite like that it's going to look really good and it looks a very very simple plane to build one for the thing right put that away now we've got to look inside the box inside the bag i should say cut the bag open inside don't expect it to look too bright in here it's um it's you know it's it's an old kit but look at that, it even has the Airfix logo, 1965. Can you see that on the screen, look? Can you see that? Look at that. That's, that must be done after the fact that. 
because it wasn't done before, was it? Because the, the old logo was different. I'm trying to look at it. Is that 1965? Looks like it's been. Can you see? Can you see the shade? It looks like it's been rubbed out and then stamped in. Copyright 19 1965. Let me check at that. It's getting close. Where's the camera to? Yeah. Can you see that? Anyway, so that's eight and ten, and that one is your nine and eleven. So there you go. Wings together, and away where you go with that one. So there's the wings there. Obviously. No recesses, it but recessed raised panel lines. You know, it's an old kit. All right, two parts of the fuselage. A little look, don't seem too bad going together. It needs a little bit of work doing. So, actually, that's in the way underneath anyway, but yeah, not looking too bad again. Quite um quite formed lines there around. Uh, look at that for the propeller. Isn't that a great way of protecting the propeller? Ah, uh, that's actually that's actually really good. That's a great way of protecting the propeller, isn't it? Fair play, fair play. Shows you they did think back in the day on how to protect these kits. Pilots, oh dear. Um, not the best. Going need a lot of clean up. Again, there they are, they're twerking, twerk, twerk, twerk. And uh, as I said, one piece engine, not a lot of detail there. So basically just just um, spray it up uh, black on the outside, get inside with a bit of silver and some black panel line washing. You'll be fine on that. All right, so there you go. Not too much there. And then here you've got the, uh, or the, the, uh, the wheel there's got quite a little bit of flash on the wheel, but nothing too drastic to do up. Honestly, that's not too bad at all. I can't see a rear wheel here, can I see a wheel? Oh, there's the tail wheel there. Can you see that? Mm, it's gonna take a bit of work, that, in it? Just a nice bit of clean up on that one. But yeah, not looking too bad on that. Really good. And then finally, we'll have a quick look at the, the clear gas, gla glass, 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 and this one. Three piece glass, again, nothing too special. Not a lot of flash on it. I think just a little quick dip in the old uh, Humbro clear, and you'll be fine on that one. Yeah, just a bit of clean up needed. That's all it needs. A little bit of a little bit of a bit of a sand job there to get that looking proper smart. There you go, already done. So back in the clear and away you go. Not bad. So there you go. That was the uh, the plastic. So there it is. Um, I put a link down in the in the comment in so in the comments in the description. A link to the airfix site and if you go via that link it helps this channel because we get a little bit of commission from every 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 model that's sold to the airfix site through this link um yeah you get a bit of a commission so it basically pays for me to get the kits to review as i said i don't get given these kits i buy them myself i order them myself and uh, i do get the odd discount because of uh, i'm in the airfix club but i i don't get anything for free off uh, fx anyway that was the aichi d3a1 vowel from airfix new release into their not new release re-release into their vintage classic range let me know in the comments what your thoughts are i always reply to comments you know are you gonna do you fancy building this one have you built it before what was it like did you find things difficult i'm always interested to hear from what the viewers are saying and any suggestions to make these videos better put them in the comments below as well Anyways, if you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, ring that bell, select all, and you'll be notified when I release a new video on the channel. And remember to subscribe to the channel. It's completely free. Again, any comments, put them in the box below because I do reply. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.